at annual conference, it's a great responsibility and a tremendous opportunity to serve as a lay member to the annual conference. This year, we're going to be having several worship services that you will, you will find, I think, very enlightening. There's legislative work that we need to do. We're going to be connecting again with some old friendships, as well as hopefully meeting some new friends. It's a time that brothers and sisters throughout from Northeastern and Central Pennsylvania will gather together to do holy conferencing. There are a couple things, actually two, that I'm hoping that you will do prior to conference. The first is to pray. The most important thing is to pray. Pray for our bishop, pray for the clergy, pray for your fellow lay members as they're about to embark on holy conferencing in the next few weeks. The second is to prepare, and you can do that in two ways. The, second, the first way is to read over the materials that are on the annual conference website. Simply download them, print them off, or you can bring them on your iPad, iPhone, that you can reference during the conference time. The second thing is to partner with your pastor, both before conference, during conference, as well as after conference. That partnership will be important in terms of helping to better understand what is going on, but also communicating the actions of conference afterwards when you return to your home church. All these things are, are very important as part of the annual conference, and I hope you take the time to do that preparation. Now, one thing that's going to be happening at the beginning of conference on Thursday morning is going to be the ladies' session. And I'm particularly excited about that because we have a number of very interesting speakers and presenters that are going to be, happy, that are going to be um, presenting their information to us. One of the first things we're going to be hearing about is lay servant ministries, which is, is a new action area that has come from the 2012 General Conference. It expands upon the lay speaking ministries that have happened for, for years, and it's a new way New, offers new ways to involve yourself in being alive with Christ. There's also going to be Growing Effective Churches presentation, which is going to talk about how churches are an important part of our journey of faith and how we can be alive in Christ through that process. We're also going to be hearing about God's Call, which is going to talk about the clergy ministries and how important they are on our journey of faith. Finally, we're going to be talking about how we connect as churches, as individuals, as part of the conference. Hopefully, we'll be praying for one another throughout conference, and we're going to be sharing a time of, of our vitality that we experience in our local churches. Now, one thing I need to caution you, there is a, allegedly, there's a rumor going around that a conference staff member is about to malign a very important part of the poultry family in the guise of humor, otherwise known as chicken jokes. There are to be no chicken jokes at annual conference. I will do my best to keep that from happening, and I hope you can also make sure that that doesn't happen. Looking forward to seeing you there. Have safe travels.